Good morning. We are here at Parkside RV in Dyson, Broussard, Louisiana, just outside of Lafayette. And we are enjoying our weekend uh, getaway. We're here for the Oshner Zydeco Half Marathon Weekend and doing a little exploring because we're very close to Parish Brewery and some good eats in Lafayette and we're excited to bring you along. It's our first time staying here at this campsite and so far it's been really, really nice. Um, what do you think, Dakota? You having a good time so far? Ben and Tucker and the dogs are at the park, which is just across the street. It's a nice little like run for them to get out and stretch their legs. And then we are going to go explore and get some breakfast. So um, we'll show you what the campground looks like. It's a little gloomy this morning, but it's supposed to be nice for the rest of the weekend. So looking forward to it. Tell me what you think. Do you like your new bed up here? Yeah, but I just got a gogi go go, a gogi cake. Is that so? Is it super cozy in here? Yeah, I got that. I got that. Coco just got a gogi cake. Oh wow! What about your secret little window over there? Um, that's my secret. That's my Coco. Is that so? Yeah. Get your own little language. Yeah, yeah, Coco. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Tucker. You could talk for days, couldn't you? Yeah, I just got it. Um, so I this got one. So we had to change the bedding up a little bit, which is way nicer. Instead of having the bassinet, yeah, we've got just, um, the little one back in this uh, little nook we made for Tucker when he was a baby. Yeah. And got the board back up for safety. And then Tucker had his first night in the big boy bed up here. We got the safety rail and he seemed to like it. So it's pretty cozy in there. Ow. This little one is teething, something fierce. So she is super I'm needy. Poor thing. In the big bed. And then you want it in there? So Ben went to go pick up lunch for us. There's a Burger Smith like two seconds from <laughs> this campsite. This is yeah, in a really like good area. It's right next to this giant baby. sports complex. Ow. but. There's a Walmart, Home Depot, lots of food options, Starbucks, okay. coffee places, um, any kind of fast food you could want in some regular restaurant. So it's a nice area and um, I'm really glad we stayed here for the race. It's been a relatively quiet day. My parents got here this afternoon and it rained pretty much all afternoon. So we're heading over there to their uh, VBRO that they're renting and gonna get some dinner. Not sure what the option is, but there's a few different places. One of them is Fat Pats, which is like a classic Lafayette uh, burger place. It's delicious. But um, we're going to get some footage to be out of cycle, but of the RV park. So I'm going to insert it here, I think. Um, and then tomorrow we've got a full day. I think we're going to go check out Avery Island, uh, which is about 30 minutes from here. And then I get to pick up my race packet in Lafayette. And so we'll go exploring in downtown. What did I just say? Hey, <laughs> gotcha! Hey, gotcha! All right, we got. <laughs> so they got a dog park here, a large and small breeds. Nice little small but enclosed area. Lots of big spaces. I think they said they had 59 in total. Back end ones. Bye-bye. You're doing a good job, Tucker. Uh-oh, we're having a... All right, they're having a poop. Let them go. All right, I'll pause here. Hopefully this gets the wiggles out. Whoa! Watch out, Tito! Uh oh, are you all turned up? Yeah! 
the park was always really quiet. Um, it doesn't have a lot of amenities of things to do. So people are probably just out either at the sports games or exploring the towns. Wow. They ask you to put your trash out every morning at 10 or by 10 and they picked it up for you. There's the little check-in office. Okay, so the park here is located right in front of like a sports complex. So super convenient if you've got you know, kids playing tournaments for the weekend, which I'm sure is why they set the park up here. It's kind of ingenious, really. Where are um, going? We're going to the front so we can get a video of the, the sign looks like. Um, this is one of the Don't first parks we stayed at where they had good enough Wi-Fi where we could actually stream without having to use our hotspot. So it was epic um, at night for the TVs. Um, spots were really big. They were like $45 a night, I think. They offered veteran discounts and different things, um, full hookups, and 30 and 50 a.m. So we'll definitely be back. Tucker, in just a second. They have a walking path to the sports complex behind these spots here. Super convenient if you just wanted to go for a walk or a jog or something, or they had a couple lakes over there where you could do some bass fishing. Ben ended up catching a few on a rooster tail. The pad was very spacious and easy to back up in. Plenty of room for multiple vehicles, any size rig with slide outs. I could imagine in the summer though without trees that it probably gets pretty hot. There was a picnic table, but no fireplace. However, plenty of room to set up all of your outdoor stuff. Good morning. It's our first real adventure day, I would say here, um, exploring. We're on our way to Avery Island and it's been an adventure because the exit was blocked and you could not take it at all. It was gone, there's no road. So we're on a detour on some back roads getting there. My parents, um, I think should have made it by now going straight through the stop sign and um, we're excited this is our first time going this is where they make all the Tabasco um, oh geez that was a big bump and what else anything they a ton of Tabasco sauces um, yeah they've like got pepper it, sauce thing. yeah that, well they've got lots of different flavors and stuff so pepper jelly maybe um, there's a like a self-guided walking tour inside where you can see some things and then there's a driving tour that they said takes like an hour um, to an hour and a half and then I think the other part was 45 minutes so they said plan about two hours for this it was 15 50 for adult and 12 50 for kids I can't remember the ages but um, and then there's a restaurant also which looks delicious so hopefully the kids are holding up and we can check that out afterwards but um, so we'll share that with you and then this afternoon we got to pick up the packet for the race and we're going to check out the kayak store and hit up some stuff um, in Lafayette. So it's going to be a good day. It's still kind of gloomy out though. Hopefully it, it warms up a little bit. It's actually kind of chilly. You don't know about it?
swinging. Yeah, for yeah. The, uh, the, that's got the maps. Whee! Whoa! Whoa, it's so scary. Oh, it's not scary. Are you cold? Oh, it looks like a whole booklet. This is impossible to open. Can you come in? Yeah. You're not scared. Who is he? Hi. Who is that in there? Hey, having fun. What? What? What you got? So you want to show everybody what you got at the store? What grandma pops by you? No, not her. Don't show her. Show me. Oh, how cool! Ta -da! Ta -da! Ta -da! Right into the sucker. Let's pop. Oh, okay. Oh this my way, God. Tucker. Tucker, this way, buddy. Uh, we already messed up. Huh? Messed up? Shit, we just look at him. Look at that tongue thing. So we headed to the restaurant right around noon and the line wasn't too bad at this point. It took maybe like five to 10 minutes to get through and get the order in. But after we placed our order and sat down, the line was backed up forever. So perhaps around like 1231, people really start coming in. They had to make your own Bloody Mary bar and there was regular and spicy and both my dad and Ben did like 50-50 and said they couldn't take any more of the hot uh, Bloody Mary mix. So just beware if you're not a huge spicy fan. I don't know.
so the walking portion of that was really fun um it was i don't know it probably took us about 45 minutes like they said you start at the country store then spend a lot of money on buying all the different flavor <laughs> tabascos you could get you can literally like smell the tabasco in the air it's it's super intense here but it's a really cool experience it's definitely worth checking out we've enjoyed it um everything has been very accessible for everyone there was one building that required some stairs um they had an elevator but it was locked so that was the only one that I noticed uh all the smells have been super intense like from the blending with the spices to the barrel oaks it's it's been really cool so now we're gonna head out and do what they call the jungle gardens and it's a driving portion and they have some walking stuff too and then come back and eat some lunch all right here's the map for like driving portion it's very large and there are a handful of different um stops to go and they've got a nice little pamphlet that tells you what each thing is and then um there's some like extra walking trails i guess um around each of these stops largest collections of camellias in the nation, which is pretty cool. It's gorgeous. It looked like most of them have bloomed already, so I think we might have missed it, but it's still a um, really cool driving experience, but probably epic if they're all in bloom. All right, so what did you think of your Avery Island experience? It was awesome. I would definitely go back. Yeah, 10 out of 10. If we didn't have the kids, we would have spent more time walking around and enjoying some of the walking trails they have um, in the jungle gardens and kind of exploring some more, but we know we're on a limited time schedule. Uh, the restaurant was delicious. I think it was called like 18, was it 1868? I'm assuming that's like the year it was yeah. established or something, I don't know. But they of course utilized the Tabasco in a lot of the recipes. I had the gumbo and it was very good for Louisiana gumbo. Um, what do you have, the special crab cake over crawfish etouffee? Yep. 
and that was really good. Um, it came out fast, like you just placed your order when you walked in, they gave you a thing for your table. And they probably brought it out within like, like less than 10 minutes or so. And they also have a make your own Bloody Mary station. They like filled it up with Tito's and it was 12.50 and then you could go and pick between either regular, um, I guess Bloody Mary mix or like the spicy one. And so then you did a little combo of both and then they had all spicy. the accoutrements. Yeah, he said if you did the whole thing with the spicy, you would have been breathing like dragon fire. <laughs> So maybe maybe start with the 50/50 and go from there. <laughs> but um, definitely worth the experience. Um, we spent I don't know like three hours there. Um, could have easily done more, a little bit less if you didn't want to spend that much time there. But head back to the camper now and rest up for a little bit. And then uh, the parents have Tucker, so we just have the baby right now. And we're gonna head into Lafayette and uh, pick up the packet, check out the kayak store, pack and paddle. And um, there's another brewery called the Adopt a Dog, and they have like snacks and stuff, so we may hang out there for an hour. And then we're gonna carbo load tonight for the race. Another great brewery and the books that was Adopt a Dog in Lafayette. Um, and they had a good range of beer selections. Ben got the Hazy IPA and I had a blueberry lager, which is nice and refreshing. Try not to drink too much before the race. So um, plans are to come back tomorrow here and perish so that I can actually enjoy some drinking. But we tried the cheese curds and they were pretty good. Um, that was what we were told to, to try. And there's be beer cheese. It wasn't my favorite that we've had in the past, but um, everything else was pretty good. So we're heading back. My mom cooked a nice pasta meal for dinner. So we're gonna go carb load for the race, check out parking situations for tomorrow and get uh, to bed early because we also lose an hour of sleep tonight on top of everything else. <laughs> and the race starts at seven. That. So yeah, it's uh, good times with the kids. Officially finished the Zydeco half marathon. Let me get my medal out here. Ta da! It's pretty cool. I like it. The course was epic. Um, it was really nice going all through ULL's campus and some of the really fancy neighborhoods and just downtown Lafayette in general. So 
um, and it was epic with the volunteers. They had water stations set up and snacks, and then the after party had live music and great beer and like gumbo and boudin and just delicious snacks, um, which was a, it was a really great atmosphere. And I highly recommend if you're a runner and enjoy these things. Um, to check out the Zydeco half and full marathon here in Lafayette. So, came back, we all took little naps, um, and we just stopped at Parish Brewery. Um, we came here on our baby moon. We love Parish beer, and if you're into IPAs, uh, they are the place to go. Um, the atmosphere at the brewery is, um, I don't know, it's not super kid friendly. It's a little, I don't know, what would you say? Bar. Yeah, more of a bar. They don't have like any like dedicated food. Um, a lot of times they do have a food truck there. Ben actually picked up the chicken sandwich they had um, a couple nights ago and he said it was really good, just super spicy. <laughs> but we're heading to back to Adopt a Dog Brewery, which was way more kid friendly and a little more laid back atmosphere. We're gonna chill outside, let the kids hopefully play with some rocks and toys, have another beer or two, some snacks. And they have a full menu and you can order online and we're gonna grab dinner back. Uh, it looks delicious, they got lots of options. Overall, it's been a great day. Um, kind of wrapping up the end of our trip. Tomorrow we head back. We're going to, um, I guess at that point, actually do our tour of the RV park and then try out one of the coffee shops locally. And then I guess we gotta pack up and head home. So, been really fun. All right, here's the tip. If you go to Adopt the Dog Brewery on Sundays at four o'clock, apparently they have free bingo and it becomes it becomes a madhouse so we are now back at the vbro and tucker is making a lovely picture of me but we did have some delicious food uh, we got some pizza from dino's and then oh, it was so good i ate like half of it and then what do you have some kind of crab yeah like pizza? crab pizza <clears throat> i got a picture of it before that happened devour half of it but and then some milkshakes from Freddy's, which had to spot after the run. Oh, got it. And all the beer, the beer was good um, from a adopt, adopted dog. Oh no, I had a casualty. <laughs> uh oh. It's all right, bud. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm so sorry, last night I spilled a whole glass in the sink. <laughs> so, the beer was good, but there were so many people oh, that they stopped lady. taking any like online orders and unless you were sitting at a table, you couldn't yeah, get any food. Okay. So we couldn't get food there, which was fine. This worked out perfect. It was delicious. Um, we're calling it a night very soon. We're late. It's it's late from the time change and we're tired. Um, it's actually early from the time change. Well, wait, is it? No, it's late. It's 7.20. No. I know that, but I'm just saying that like we lost an hour, so the day is like blown by. <laughs> All right, it's 7:20. We've lost an hour. We're tired. It's been a long day. We're going to bed very soon and finishing our journey tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm just gonna go into it now, but I'm just gonna go. Hey, I'm gonna milk. You got your milk? Yeah. You want another big trip to Lafayette? Yeah, but, 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 but I got a T Rex. Yeah, you gotta show everybody your new toy you got when you're here. And what else did you get? You got, you got this little cute boiling pot with crawfish from the Tabasco. My grandpa's get you that. We are just wrapping it up here, getting the RV cleaned up. I think I'm going to head over to Jet Coffee and grab us some breakfast while the kids hang out here. And, um... We're gonna do a little loop, get the dogs some exercise, and I took her out for a little walk, and then start heading home. All right, so I decided to park over here in the Walmart parking lot and walk over because the drive-through line to get to this coffee place is out of control um, Monday at 8:45. So I always didn't know if it was just like the weekend thing, but everybody talks about how good it is. So I'm excited to go. Hopefully, get a cup. Yeah. 
So you're approving of the frozen yeah, coffee? If you, if you like coffee, it's definitely it's potent. It's got a coffee flavor. Oh, yeah. Not not like super sweet like the Starbucks one as much. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the coffee has a really good flavor. So this was a good choice. Um, they don't have like sandwiches and stuff, but they've got uh, the bagels mm -hmm. and muffins hey. and whatnot um, that all look delicious and homemade. So they were all very friendly there. Super helpful. Um, the coffee's really good. I'm gonna try the bagel here in a second, but I'd recommend uh, Jet Coffee if you're in the Lafayette or Broussard area. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. We're getting ready to bring the camper to Grand Isle back for a month like we did in the old days.